Hello and welcome back to Tech View. In this video, we are going to be talking Starlink. So I live in a rural part of England in the UK and like a lot of people, the broadband is atrocious. My uh, promised speed from my broadband provider is one meg down and there's no promised speed up. Um, and as you can probably guess, there's not a lot that you can do with that. Um, so I turned to 4G and for about a year or so, 4G was fine. And then lockdown came and it turns out the entire village uses 4G for their broadband. And that just was so up and down, it is unusable. And as somebody who works from home, I need a reliable internet connection. So where did I turn to? That's right, Mr. Musk. Thank you very much, Elon, for bringing satellite internet to us. Uh, it's a bit crazy if you think that in today's day and age that we have to go into space and back to get decent internet. After reading many reviews and many YouTube videos regarding Starlink, I thought it was time to bite the bullet. Yes, it's a bit pricey at £489, including shipping, which, by the way, came from California all the way to England in a weekend when I'm still waiting for a delivery from somewhere the other side of England to come, and it's going to take two weeks. Um, but that's a side note. So after watching a lot of YouTube reviews and write-ups on Starlink, I decided Yes, it was very expensive, but I have no other option. So I bit the bullet. I paid the £489. On the Friday, I ordered the Starlink and it came shipped from Long Beach, California, all the way to England. And it arrived Monday morning at 9am at my front door, which is amazing. So straight out of the box, you'll see some pictures here. I uh, installed it into the garden. I couldn't wait to set it up on a pole or anything like that. So just standard install in the garden using the app and found the best space to put this. And immediately I got over a hundred meg down and about 20 meg up. And this just like blew my mind. After about two months of using Starlink now, I reliably get between 150 and 200 meg down and at least 20 meg up, um, which isn't great, but rumors are it's going to get better for the upload speed. The biggest downfall is the latency, which for me is around 38 milliseconds on average. And I'm not complaining, it's on par with 4G and the speeds are consistently above 100 meg. Um, and I'm not a big gamer, so it doesn't really matter for me with latency issues. Okay, so reliability. A lot of people have had some issues with the reliability and the signal being lost. I can't say that I've had many issues. You can look in the app and you can see that, oh yeah, there's been a few outages here for one reason or another. Maybe there's no signal to the satellite or it's a beta outage. But we're talking like one second, maybe two seconds, every 10 minutes or so. And then you might not get anything for a couple of days, which is quite strange. Um, but those one seconds um, don't really make too much of a difference. I've been on Teams calls and FaceTime calls and looked back at the statistics on the app and there's been outages and I haven't noticed anything at all. So that's all great. Uh, but what does that mean for me? Well, the biggest impact is I can stream anything I like, whenever I like, no matter who else is on my network. So I can stream a 4K movie or watch dozens of 4K YouTube videos. It doesn't really matter. There's so much bandwidth available. You're not going to kick anybody else off the network, which is what used to happen all the time on 4G. After the first month, I gave up the 4G SIM cards and canceled all the contracts and now solely rely on the Starlink 
internet connection and I can honestly say, touch wood, it hasn't let me down. It's been as reliable as a normal broadband provider and to be completely honest, I've never had speeds like this even when I did live in a broadband fibre enabled area um, and it is now the normal and I wouldn't be without it. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And if you want to see more videos about Starling, let me know in the comments below. Thanks.